what I'm saying is that we had a lot of people dying out there. And as I mentioned, the overwhelming majority of those people were unvaccinated. And you attribute that to Dr. Cole. You blame Dr. Cole for that. It, in part, he is contributing to that. Day two of the Dr. Ryan Cole hearing in front of the Washington Medical Commission at the board, that is, which is considering his license to practice medicine in Washington. These proceedings came about after a complaint letter from Dr. David Pate, the former CEO of St. Luke's Health System and member of Idaho's Coronavirus Task Force. That was sent to the American Board of Pathology. Well, that group and several others, including Dr. Pate, alleged Dr. Cole, a pathologist based in Garden City, was spreading misinformation, disinformation, and they also accused him of offering medical advice and treatment for COVID-19 that was below the standard of care. Washington is one of the several states where Dr. Cole is certified to practice medicine. Dr. Pate began his testimony yesterday talking about the growing animosity toward Dr. Cole from within the local medical community. And based on things like what he would say in July of 2021 at America's Frontline Doctors White Coat Summit. They don't want you to see what we're seeing. In the laboratory, I have, a, I have the tissues of a dead man on the back of my desk. I have two more coming next week. Guess what? Just a couple days after a shot, 50-year-old healthy triathlete. One of my favorite surgeons in town that I worked with, second shot, mountain biking gone. The surgeon's spouse, a, a physician herself, I think um, found this particularly uh, unconscionable uh, to make that assertion. And uh, she had indicated that in fact, uh, he had not just gotten the vaccine and then uh, with the clink of the fingers died, but rather had completed his vaccine series six months previously and that his death was unrelated. Well, just one of the many falsehoods that Dr. Ryan Cole was purporting across the world over the last several years. Dr. Pate then testified Attorney General Raul Labrador. Then he was just a politician on the Central District Health Board, but Raul Labrador facilitated a meeting between himself and Dr. Cole at the end of September of 2021 with Dr. Pate, I should say, with the intention of trying to rehab Dr. Cole's reputation. Three men got together and Dr. Pate said he was willing to help if Dr. Cole was sincere. In fact, though, Dr. Cole had shown a good faith effort to rehab his reputation. If he did, well, Dr. Pate said he would have withdrawn his complaint and not testified against him. That did not happen. What did happen, Dr. Pate says, was Dr. Cole doubling down on his factless claims when it came to COVID and the vaccine, showing up at conferences around the world and on podcasts and in interviews, saying a lot of the same thing he was saying in the summer of 2021. This is a poisonous attack on our population, and it needs to stop now. Do words matter, and how were words affecting what was going on? Yes, words do matter. People can misspeak. People can say something in 2020 that then changes and is proven different in 2021. You acknowledge that, you correct it, but we never heard him correct these things. And the things that he was saying weren't even uh, true. I think the medical community was outraged when he made assertions of the 20 fold increase in cancers that he was seeing in his lab, yet wouldn't come forward about it. I started seeing endometrial cancers go up and other certain type melanomas I started seeing thicker and earlier as well. If he was correct about that, if he had published a paper about that, a case, case study, anything, he likely would have been famous in the medical community. Why? Number one, it would have been the first time a vaccine has been shown to cause cancer. That would be revolutionary. I and mean, the fact that he would not publish it or even let anybody else confirm it. It was so frustrating for the healthcare community. Well, at one point this afternoon, Dr. Cole's attorney tried to ask for a new hearing altogether after a psychiatrist testified about the impact these misleading statements and outright lies were having on the public. It wasn't just a doctor exercising his right to free speech, she said. This psychiatrist mentioned studies showing 98% of people trusted doctors and she made mention of Donald Trump and the Koch brothers. Dr. Cole's lawyer, that'd be Eagle attorney Nancy Garrett, said the whole case was getting too broad and she tried to have the whole testimony stricken from the record. 
Both motions were denied and it continues right now and that hearing is expected to continue tomorrow.